In this video we're going to look at how to create a, a Node-RED dashboard. Now, a Node-RED dashboard is actually an add-on module that lets you create live dashboards. It's optional but it's actually recommended and you use npm to install it and for Linux you need to go to the home folder .node-RED um, before you start the install and if you don't do that then you'll find that when you actually go to the admin interface the dashboard icons are missing so very important that you go to the .node red folder in your in your home directory and to install it this is what you run npm install uh, node red dashboard separated by hyphens and when you install it you should find the node red um, dashboard folder underneath your node modules and here's the path for it here oh, this is again on Linux and when you've installed it it actually adds a new category to the node palette when you go into the admin interface you'll see a collection of user interface nodes and this is what the it looks like in the admin interface this is just a subset of them and they consist of both input and output nodes and to use them you drop them onto the canvas just like you do any other node now to use it, uh, the nodes will actually be displayed on the user interface dashboard and this is the URL to that dashboard and it's basically the same as the admin interface with a slash UI at the end of it and this is what I'm using on my local installation, this is the IP address of my uh, Raspberry Pi and slash UI and this is an example of what you'll see when you've configured it and you can see up here this is the tab name now you can have multiple tabs that are basically um, browser tabs and then you've got the dashboard icons and this is a, a gauge here and this is a, a switch a slider switch and this is a text display here and you group them together in, in groups this one's called control and this one's called display so I've got all my switches and my uh, this is a normal toggle switch and this is a slider switch under the control group and the output I've got the gauge and I've got a, a text box under the display and if you've got multiple tabs then you can see here then you can just click on this and you should be able to see the these in the drop down box now when you configure or when you drag a dashboard node onto the onto the canvas then you need to configure which uh, tab it's going to go under and which can, which group it's going to go under now you can create when you do that you can create new tabs and you can create new groups to to place the um, display widget in or display node in should I say so let's go to the node red admin interface and let me show you how to do all that so here we are at the uh, node with admin interface and the, this is the dashboard category and these are the dashboard nodes and to use them I just drag them over into the canvas here and this is the demo flow that I created and I showed you the screenshot earlier and this is the actual uh, display you can see the control group, the display group and you can see the various um, display icons here okay so let me just take you through these uh, these nodes and the important configuration uh, properties of those nodes so if I go to the switch first and open it up you can see here it's the control group it's control and the tab name is my home so that's the tab and there's the control group and if I go back to the interface there's the tab and there's the control group so this switch is going to appear in the on the my home tab in the control group and you give it a label switch and you can also give it a name now this name that you give it here appears in the admin interface and this label that you give it appear appears in the display interface so this is the display interface and it's called switch and if I just press done here this is the admin interface and now it's called light switch and again I go to the other node and you can see here that's in the display my home group so my home again is the tab and display is the group so there's the display group and there's the text box 
Okay, I'm going to use the text input box to display the status of the, the light switch. So if I double click here, I can change the, the name of that as it appears on here. So we call it light and press done. And you can see the name changes. And to change the name as it appears here, which it hasn't got one at the moment, then we go back into it and we change the label, light status. Now, this time we have to deploy it. And if we go back to our display, there it is there. Okay, so those are the important properties of the display nodes that you need to be aware of. Now, let's just create another one and we're going to have a another switch. We drag it in over here. Now, when we create it, we need to assign it into a, into a group. Now, we can choose an existing group, or we can create another group. Uh, so let's do that. Now, when we create another group, we can create a new tab, and we can also create a new um, a display display group. And we're going to do both. So let's click on this Add New User Interface Group and click on edit. Now this is the name of the display group here it's defaulting to default and this is the tab name. Now I'm going to create another tab so if I click on the drop down box here add a new UI tab and then click on edit. Now I'm going to call this one bedroom and I'm going to add it and then coming back here I can call that one control because it's a switch and so that is the display group name and click add and done you can see it's there control control bedroom done okay so now if i go and deploy this and i go to the dashboard you can see here's the bedroom tab and here's the control group and there's the switch in it and this is my original one and that's what that one looks like so now I've got two tabs and I've got a, a control group in in this second tab now that's one way of doing it however an easy way is to use the dashboard tab here and if we go over there you can see there's my home tab and there's the two display groups there and there's my bedroom tab and there's the display group I created there and I can create additional tabs and I can uh, create additional um, display groups uh, in this interface here and it's much easier so let's create the tab I think there's tab 3 and we edit it and this time it's called the lounge and while I'm here you can also delete them from here so if you don't want the tab anymore you just delete it so let's update it and then we can add a group and again we'll call it control and there it is there so now we deploy it and if I go to our dashboard it's not visible and it's not visible because I haven't got anything to display on it so I need to put something on it so let me create another switch and this time we'll add it to control lounge and just done and deploy it again and then go back to our dashboard and you can see now it's appearing here not only that you can move them around with this interface so we just drag and drop the display into the control so I want the display to appear before the control this is what it looks like now control display deploy it and go back and there we got display control so much more flexible interface to do it this way so normally when you're setting up your dashboard you configure it first over here and then you start adding in your nodes over on this pane here. Okay, that's all I really want to cover in this video, just uh, basics of how to 
uh, configure a, a node red dashboard if you've got any comments on the video then leave them below if you like the video then don't forget to click the like button and if you want to get notified of new videos then or you can always subscribe to the channel until next time goodbye